If you're looking to upscale your footage, whether from HD to 4K, or maybe your 4K footage just doesn't look that sharp and you wanna make it a little sharper, this tool could help out. It's called MUpscaler AI from the company Motion VFX. And full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Motion VFX. So this is a part of their Cine Studio plan. And this includes like M Tracker Surface, M Puppet, M Film Look, M Flare 2, M Tracker 3D if you go for the 3D option. So lots of different plugins in this membership. And now they've included Mscaler AI as a part of that membership. So I recently went to the MotoGP here in Indonesia. It is was absolutely insane. These guys are driving like usually 100 miles an hour and on the straightaways over 200. And I brought my FX3, a really long lens, and uh, to be honest, a pretty crappy tripod. And so I was just trying to film ultra slow motion with them turning the corners. But on my camera, if you shoot in 240 FPS, it only goes up to HD. So, as you can see, we kind of have a problem with, and perhaps my focus was wrong, but um, there's a lack of sharpness on a lot of these shots. But, let's see what we can do with Upscaler AI. So, you can find it as a part of M Extension, which is Motion VFX's extension software. You would then just click on M Software and select M Scaler AI. But what's nice about Upscaler AI is it works as a standalone software on your computer. So you don't have to upload anything to the cloud. It is working locally on your machine and it's pretty simple to use. So I exported out all these different uh, clips from that timeline that you saw, but you could also just import the full files from your camera and you just drag them directly into this little viewport, this little window here. So it's very simple to use. You actually don't have to process the entire clip. So this could be useful if you're dragging footage, your raw footage from a folder or from your camera directly into this queue because you have your endpoint here and your out point. So if you say, didn't want to include this beginning part. You just wanted to start about right here. You could do that and it will then process this bit. Or if you want the out point to be sooner, you can go right about there. And then this is essentially just your playhead. So you can just find a point. Maybe we'll go right here and it'll take a second to load in and you'll see you have result. And just by clicking the screen, you'll see the original. So if we zoom in, and we just go to some lettering and we just click. Look at the difference. I don't, I hope you can see it on YouTube. I hope the compression's not that bad, but it's very noticeable for me. So you see all the individual pixels and then this just like cleans it up, just makes everything much sharper. Just looking at this wheel here, when I click on and off, you can see the, I don't know motorcycles enough. Is that the brake? <laughs> Is that the brake part? But if you just click this on and off, you have definition now, whereas before there is, uh, there is no definition. It's kind of just a blurry mess. And that's something else that's nice. If you want to zoom back out, you don't have to go up here. You just do the same shortcut that you do in Final Cut. You press Shift C. Here's another example for you. So you can kind of see the individual pixels. It just kind of looks blurry. But if we click our viewport here, it just sharpens everything up intelligently. And it doesn't look like sharpening. It, it certainly looks like AI is trying to determine the edges of things and snap them together to make it crisper. Crispier? Crispier. Here's another example. We'll zoom in to 200%. So here's before and here's after. And just notice it just cleans everything up and almost looks like you put neat video on it. You put some, some denoiser and sharpened everything to make it look crisp and smooth and less like zoomed in HD footage and a little bit more like 4K footage. Although of course nothing beats actually shooting in 4K, but if you can only shoot in HD or if you have a shot that needs some cleaning up and needs some sharpening, it's a great option it seems. So once you have everything set up and you go through and you adjust everything the way you want, which is simple to do, you just drag it in and then you adjust the output resolution. You can go all the way up to 8K and you can choose the codec that you want if you want H.265 or 264 or if you want a ProRes file as well. So this would be useful if you are bringing in footage directly from your folder or your camera and you shot in log because if you are exporting out as an H.264 or H.265, it's gonna remove all that logarithmic data so you would want to choose one of these options, maybe even high quality. So that's why in my opinion, maybe I would go through, fully edit your video, and then if you find a clip that you're like, eh, I wish that was a bit sharper, then you can export out just that section of the timeline or just that clip. And you do that by just pulling up your range tool. So you do that by pressing R, 
you just make a selection here and then you just do command E and that's gonna that's your quick export keyboard shortcut and then you export out just that clip or that section of your clip and then once you hit start it will basically batch produce all of the different clips. So it's basically performing magic. So it does take a long time, so keep that in mind. So what you could do is maybe when you're going to bed or uh, say you're gonna go to the gym, you just process everything so it can go through all the different footage that you have. I believe Motion VFX is having a Black Friday sale at the moment. I will put the link for M Upscaler AI and the whole Cine Studio package in the description and in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week.